Paradise Firearms is a fixture in Colorado Springs. It was founded 34 years ago by Army veteran Paul Paradise. As a gun owner, I'm very concerned about who picks the next Supreme Court nominee. And this is more about that than anything else. Paradis and many residents here say they're voting for Trump because even if he's not a traditional Republican, he does embody conservative values. To be grounded, to try to be real to what the people want versus just the political empire that empire that we have uh, with such as Hillary Clinton. Sticking to your, like I grew up conservative, so I say sticking to your ideals and sticking to kind of what America stands for. On the road out of Colorado Springs are reminders of why the city leans so Republican. Focus on the Family is one of many evangelical Christian organizations based here, and the Air Force Academy is one of six military facilities that employ tens of thousands of locals. But just a 90-minute drive north along the foothills of the Rocky Mountains lies a town whose politics lean far in the opposite direction. To understand this region of the country, you need to understand the history here. You have the second state in the country that allowed women to vote. There's very much a libertarian streak that underlies the entire state, which really does have these high pocket populations of liberals. The city of Boulder is one of those liberal pockets. It's a place where recycling is considered a religion. While residents of Colorado Springs want less government involvement in their lives, people here want more, starting with more laws to protect the environment. My feeling is that um, Hillary, we can push harder to do something. Donald Trump is a zero. Many Boulderites say they're convinced that Hillary Clinton will maintain the Democratic Party's commitment not only to fighting climate change, but to making sure Americans have access to health care. I do think that we need um, health care for all. I really do. A woman's right to choose um, you know, our own health care and for our own bodies. Clinton supporters in Boulder express confidence in polls, showing their candidate likely will win Colorado. But in a state with such sharp ideological divides, many commentators say that anything could happen.